Welcome to Kinector 1.8.2019. Let me show you what is new in this version. Coincidentally, the 1st of August is also the Swiss National Day. It took much longer than anticipated to get this connector version out of the way. One major issue that was holding me back was the adoption of the add-on to Blender 2.8. Many thanks to Patrick Crawford at this point to helping me out with this. There is a link to his website on the connector page. Another feature I really wanted to get in was make human support. Problem is, the rig and the character are much different than what I'm used to with uh, Manuel Bastionula and even Rigify. So I really had to tweak a lot and I also had to take special care of the face shapes because uh, Make Human uses a rig for the face as well. I think the result is usable even though the character is a bit more rigid, the expressions are less sophisticated and the accuracy of the uh, joints is even worse than what it is on Manuel Bastioni lab. But well, it's, I guess, as far as I got with this and I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. You'll find Connector at visa.ly on the Connector page. You can download it here. And once downloaded, you will find a zip archive containing two folders and a readme file. In the Blender folder, you will find the add-on for Blender 2.7, 2.8, and some examples. In the Connector folder, we find the Connector exe, which is the one you want to execute, of course, and a Connector ini file. In here, you would specify things that are persistent, like if you have Connector on the same machine as your Blender, then you would leave this on the loopback address, otherwise you could send connector information to another machine in your network running Blender. Here we have three target models now. It's Manuel Bastioni Lab or the successor, the Make Human one, which is uncommented, and then the Rigify rig. Everything is appended by FK, which stands for Forward Kinematics. I might look at inverse kinematics at some point in the future, but for now we'll have to use forward kinematics. So now let's have a look at Blender. First of all, we need to make sure that the plugin is activated, which in my case it is already. So if you search for connector, you will eventually find here my plugin. And if you don't see this here, just type N you should see the connector menu here and the connector panel. Now, of course, you would want to import a MakeHuman character. With the MakeHuman plugin, this is fairly easy. All you need to do is actually start MakeHuman. Let me do that. And Let's just bring back the human I have created for the demo, which is this guy. For this to work, you need to have a rig. I would go for the default rig. And another important setting is hidden here in the community section, socket, accept connections. If this is not checked, you will not be able to import make human characters into Blender. Back in Blender, let's first remove that cube. Now let's go to the make human plugin and simply click import human. After a few seconds, the human appears. Let me dress up the scene a little bit. Let me move the light source and put the character somewhere in the middle of the viewport. Now we can change the render mode. And now with Blender 2.8, Eevee is probably the prettiest of them all. 
And now if we start connector, we should be able to capture the motion. It's a good idea to toggle the system console from Blender in order to see what's going on. So if I click the start button on the connector add-on, it says connector started. And now if my body is recognized, I see a bunch of error messages. I see the red face, but the character is not moving. That's because we did not rename the human model to connector one. This is easily done now within the connector add-on. You simply click move with the slot one selected. You have up to four slots, but only the first one receives motion. It is possible sometimes that the connect does not react to your body at all. It then makes sense to either reboot the machine or what you can try as well is to end this task. It will restart. You might even want to end that one. I don't know if it's doing anything, but as soon as the connect service is back, you can retry. I also found that the lighting makes a difference in recognizing your body and your face. Now if I start the plugin again, the character moves around without any error messages in the console window. Now we can start tweaking the settings of connector. We can smooth the face expressions, so we have less twitchy eyelids. We can increase the strength to exaggerate expressions and add a minimum delta threshold for that less movement is sent to Blender. Now you can see it's still a bit jerky, but this all depends on the performance of your machine and the settings in Blender. Now when I'm happy with this, I can start recording the keyframes. moving around a bit and when I'm done I press space stop connector and I can rewind and watch what I've done it is very very choppy right now but it's enough to show you how this works in in principle so now once you're done with your first character you could simply move it to the slot 2 and now we could import another make human character to continue with the scene. So same steps as before. And then once the character is in Blender, move it to slot one, because slot one is always the one that gets the data from connector and start recording the new animation. Of course you need to move the characters apart or it will look weird if they're overlapping. So now you can record the second character and this looks weird because I'm still sitting in my chair because it's much easier to record a session and document the whole thing uh, without running around in the room. Um, but you see where I'm getting at. After recording, you probably need to adjust the movements in the graph editor. But the result is quite funny already. If you want to use it with the successor of Manuel Bastioni Lab, go to GitHub's MB Lab, download the zip archive, and install the zip archive as add on in Blender. You will get a new tab, MB Lab, which allows you to create characters within Blender. I select EV now. I will choose an anime character, create the character. And finalize the character right away. We don't need the textures.
It looks best in EV mode and after finalizing, we can rename the character to Kinect1. I'll hide the bones so it looks a bit better. And don't forget to change the ini file because we're using MBL now, not make human. With that done, we can start connector. We can start the plugin. And now this is even worse than make human. It's very choppy. This is because a subdivision modifier is turned on by default for the viewport. And we should turn this off. That's the one here. And as soon as I turn it off, the frame rate increases. Now we can tweak the connector smoothing again and start animating an MB lab character. The third character type that is supported is Rigify. Again, we will need to change connector ini for this to work. After that, start connector. Now we can add an armature from Rigify, the human meta rig. The same procedure to rename it to connector one and simply start the plugin. And as you can see, the frame rate is much faster because Blender only has to draw the rig and nothing else. So let me get up, walk around a bit, move, and an interesting new feature, Rigify supports expressions now as well, even though very basic ones. There is two more alternative modes I wanted to show you. For that, I'm changing the target model back to Manuel Bastioni Lab or MB Lab and start Connector again. Opening Blender. Now we switch to creating one of those objects based on the input that Connector is receiving. So for example, if we were to add cubes and change the mode here to joint position. If I start the plugin now, so let me zoom in a bit, turn it around. And now I will get off the chair and move about. As you can see now, for every joint, we got a cube, which can be used as a driver for a rig. The other option is if you are just interested in expressions, you can send face expressions to connector as positions and let them drive your custom model in Blender. Well, this is it for now. Have fun using Connector. Bye.